These big, huge hellebores are a different genus than the one that uh, I showed you with the seedlings. This is, but you can see its seed heads are coming up right there. So it's a different kind, though next to it, I have some of the others. See, there's a set seed head coming up. This is another kind of hellebore here. So there's one, two, three kinds of hellebores. These ones, I find they don't self-sow so much, but what I would do is divide that clump, probably in the autumn. Oh, look, there's a bumblebee. A bumblebee is um, pollinating. Where is he? Oh, I've got a cat on my back. <laughs> really? Really? Come on. See, lean in the garden and you get a cat on your back. Time has decided to join me. Can I stand upright? There we go. Oh, and you're going to go down my arm. You're such a cat. You're such a boy -o. He was climbing along that tree. And I was leaning against that, leaning close under that tree and he jumped on my back. So, gardening kitty, totally gardening kitty. I should show you, stand back so you can see the full effect of the espaliered apple tree that he was. <laughs> now let's leave the apple tree alone. Woo, he fell off. So that is the espaliered apple tree. It's a Bramley apple, and that was probably planted and started by my great-grandfather. When I was growing up, there were some lower branches coming out on either side, but those we've pruned off. And it's, from I gather from other garden experts, it's one of the la largest freestanding espalier apple trees in Ireland. Now, I'm absolutely 100% willing to be proven wrong but I gather that from other people that it is a magnificent espaliered apple tree and is huge I don't know if you can see there's pepper underneath it so you can maybe get an idea at how big it is and what a spread it has of its branches and under that tree is hellebores and this particular hellebore and that particular hellebore there are two different kinds they have kind of this one you can kind of see is very limey green and then this one has a more pinky stem to it you see that pinky stem and those were brought back from their home country by my grandfather in the 1920s or 30s and given as gifts to his mother. And I gather from another garden expert that they, that my grandfather probably collected them in the wild in um, Serbia or Yugoslavia or, or whatever it was called in those days. But the bumblebees love it. There's a bumblebee. Oh, it's up on the stars of Bethlehem. It's uh, pollinating away. Up there you can see loads of stars of Bethlehem up there. So that is the espalier apple tree. This is a different, another kind of um, hellebore again. And here you can see are baby ones that I've planted over the years, sown baby ones. So this will continue to grow into a big uh, lot of hellebores underneath the this large espaliered apple tree.